this is the most shameful company on planet earth or in india i guess hey peeps what's up manji here back with another video and a poco x3 pro has exploded yes a poco x3 pro exploded and it is this person whose phone has exploded aman bharadwaj and from my research on this topic he is not going to delete his tweet now do note that poco india has sent out a device to him which he hasn't received yet at the time of recording this video but he does mention that even when he receives it he is going to post it on the tweet on this specific tweet so this here are pictures of the exploded poco x3 pro and he was charging it and it exploded that's it now why is it like shameful because poco india did what they always do in fact me personally i am not surprised this is history repeating itself but their official response was this yes this is their official response they blamed the customer and it's not happening for the first time poco x three had also exploded and even then they had blamed the customer in fact they had the obnoxious audacity to go on twitter and ask people to not puncture their batteries that is what they did and this time again they are blaming the consumer the user totally which is absolutely wrong who in their right sense would be bending their device and putting pressure on it and of course i was going through the replies on the tweet as well and there were replies like you should not be charging your phone on a bed sheet see that is complete utter bs logic as well why because if it is dangerous to charge your phone on a bed sheet it should be mentioned in the phone or in the manual as a warning in red do not charge your phone on a bed sheet these are all real world conditions which are totally normal which need to be tested now i'm not saying you go ahead and go wrap your phone in a blanket and put it out in the sun and charge don't go to those extreme levels either but this here is totally normal anybody charging their phone on a bed sheet is totally normal because those of you who have the logic that oh he is absolutely wrong and he made a mistake by charging his phone on a bed sheet when those 120 watt 200 watt fast charging phones explode are you gonna go and say oh go ahead and you should buy a liquid cooling system so that you can charge your phone so that it doesn't heat up or charge your phone on ice packs or ice bricks because you have 120 watt 200 watt chargers I mean gotta be kidding me with that logic right and why this is getting super frustrating is because poco is putting the blame on the customer i mean phones have been exploding the nord 2 exploded two times but nowhere in that did oneplus blame the customer because blaming the customer is like total audacity you go to any other first world country and try blaming a customer for an exploded device you are gonna get your backside sued you are gonna pay millions of dollars or pounds when they put a lawsuit against you just because the indian system of courts or the indian legal system has like too many hassles that it is difficult to hold a company accountable that is why they take advantage that is what they take advantage of that is why poco india has the audacity to go and say this is the fault of the customer for the second time previously they said oh somebody punctured the poco x3 and this time they're saying they bent it jerry rig mr gupta they bend thousands of phones a year haven't seen any of them exploding when they try to bend it any none none go check out their channels how many phones have exploded when they bent it going by poco's logic i mean i won't be surprised if one of you loses your backside because you had the phone in your back pocket and you sat on it and bent it so this company has gone to 
S H I T. Why I am telling you what's happening? The success they are having, the growth they are having, 800% year on year, quarter on quarter, the sales they are getting, it is getting to their head and it is showing in their responses when they are blaming the customer. They think it's cool. They, in fact, wanted Aman to delete his tweet. Seriously? And I'm glad he did not delete it because that is something which like makes me super proud. Plus the fact that he has the book wife one as well. So stand in there, dude. You get your phone and there's no need to delete the tweet. If you delete it, it's going to show that you did something wrong, whereas you haven't done anything wrong. So stand your ground against this BS of Poco India.